All right, we just got to Roseburg and we grabbed Mr. Garrett Weaver. How's it going, guys? So you have your budget bow challenge bow with you today? Kind of, because I have, uh, I don't have the budget bow sight on there. Okay. Uh, or the stab, but everything else, because I haven't got those things yet for it, but everything else is, is budget bow. So the bow, the rest, I don't have a quiver on there. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's just work in progress, but yeah, we're we're building the budget bow still. <laughs> do, do you have any problems with your like bolts and stuff rusting, or do you take care of your bow? <laughs> I don't have that problem. Okay, <laughs> you know what that's called though, right? That's not rust. What's that? That's Oregon Loctite. Baby. Dude, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's... I'd actually not heard that. I think we've decided that it is the Green Valley course. Yeah, we didn't know where we were going this morning, but now we do. <laughs> hey, I'm actually using my hinge for the first 3D shoot. Ooh, committed. Right so... now, you get you have a hinge right now, mm -hmm. Elliot. Feel like punching yourself in the face? <laughs> it's a good time. We'll yeah, see. yeah. <laughs> it's, have you ever used a hinge release? Yeah. Oh, you have? My very first bow was a bear strike or bear charge or something like that. When I first started bow hunting, I had a terrible release. I clipped in my release and it was a pincher jaw kind of release. Well, I accidentally pinched my D loop in the jaws. Uh -oh. And I pulled my bow back and it came uncorked at about, right at about the apex of the draw. And I punched myself right in the face. Well, I lobbed this arrow up over this old abandoned like uh, trailer park <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere. Punched myself in the face so hard that I loosened my tooth. My nose was bleeding and I couldn't see. Like I was seeing stars, everything went black. So when I finally came to, I have both my hands on my knees, my bow is laying on the ground and I'm just drooling blood out of my face and my buddy that was with me can't breathe. He's laughing so hard, so don't do that. All right, so we sighted in our bows. We, he obviously was not as irresponsible as Elliot and myself. Elliot, is that like the 30th arrow you've put through your bow? Total? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably not at 30 yet. We're not shooting animals, we're shooting targets, which still, I would like to be a little bit more dialed back. I make no claims with a hinge. Yeah, he didn't punch himself in the face, so he's already doing better than me. Now that's a success. Yeah, that's notice, winning. Notice the deep breath in. Yes, focus. All right, first shot of the day. 52.8. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I go like two o'clock with his arrow, like an inch. <laughs> so, so far, these two pros are tied, and I'm the, what do you call the guy in last place? Bring it up the rear. Loser. Loose. I remember now. Yeah, I remember. It's the loser. The second winner. The second winner, yeah. No, how's that BTX? It's a... Uh, it's shooting pretty good, man. Uh, yeah? No you, complaints so far. Hinge, you still, no failures with the hinge. I was going to say, you still happy you brought the hinge? I'm still happy I brought the hinge. Did you bring your other as a backup? I did. I thought so. <laughs> I right. saw it in the back of the truck. It's right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shows uh, you how committed I am. <laughs> Dude, you look like such a gangster. It looks like you have like rings on your fingers, like yeah. gold rings. Oh, that's what I thought it was Just, at first. Was yeah. Like, Brass nuts. Look at that guy. He's, He's a baller. 47, 45. I'll just shoot it for 46. That felt really good. We'll see. 45, you say? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you aimed it for. A little forward, I think. Woo. If you guys haven't listened to On Point Podcast with Garrett Weaver, then you're probably living under a rock. If you live in Southern <laughs> Oregon anyway. <laughs> but I listened to it. It's uh, very informative. That last one you did with Cody Rich, not the last one you did, but the one you did with Cody yeah, Rich. Yeah. That one I listened to and then skipped back through the highlights again. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. What's the yardage on this one? 30, I'm going 36. Ooh, I think that's oh, a heart shot. Good. Yeah. yeah. 
Ooh, nice. Let's do the left. There we go. That seemed good. All right, so I'm not very good at shooting 3D targets. I apologize. I acted like I was going to be really good, and I was hoping that my confidence would help me shoot better. It did not. So, any big plans this year? I've got all sorts of plans. Yeah? I'm actually going potentially on my first whitetail hunt in Texas. Texas? Really? Yeah. Hogs and whitetail during the rut, which I heard is December. December. Ooh, nice shot. Let me write these down here. So Sage got a zero and a... Sage eight. got a what? Zero and an eight. I'll say that again a little bit louder. Because I'm filming. Okay, good. <laughs> and got an eight. I don't want anybody to be confused. I missed this target. But you don't miss live animals. That's what's good. That's what counts. I yeah, guess, I guess I don't. You play for keeps when it matters. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm going to bank on that. No, it's because I get so scared. I close my eyes. Go head to head. All right, so Elliot is challenging us to a head to head to head headshot <laughs> challenge. Nice. Oh, man. All right, man, what you got? Tough one to hoe, man. Ah, don't worry about that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, close. Oh, I hit your arrow. Sorry. That's teamwork. So the head to head to head. Oh my God, I think I- To finally, head. I finally 12 to a bird. Competition, head to head to head to head. <laughs> Goes to Gary Weaver, out of boy. I'm happy with that Crown one. you champion. No, All right, so these guys didn't want to leave without doing a 100-yard challenge. You guys down? Yeah. All right. I can hit it now. I All right. I'll be the judge of the best shot. Oh, gotcha. You don't have any bias, right? No. Nope. 92? All right, yeah, we'll do that. Elliot, you down? 92? Yeah. One arrow? <laughs> yeah, just one. I like the confidence. Rip it in, rip it. That's good He's on the white? All right, nice. I can't tell. I can see another spot. I don't know what happened. You in on this? 92. Nice. I got All right, Elliot. 92. A little, little bit high. All right. Watch out, don't want to be stepping on arrows here. Mine definitely passed through the X somewhere. Well, sir, I deem you winner. the winner. Fantastic job. Say, say your name for the world. Wyatt Seabrook. Wyatt. Well, I guess I'll quit bow hunting. Uh, I think Garrett won, yeah? Yeah. What? Garrett, I think you took the lead, bro. I got the tickets right here. We have a 238. 238. A 255. 255. And a 265. <sighs> Spoiler alert. 238. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Wyatt, you know him? A guy named Wyatt seemed to be the, the leader in the 100 yard shot today. Um, twice, I think. Two, two in a row. 92 or, yards. Sorry, my bad. 92 yard shot. 
But anyway, now I think we're off to head some Thai food, and we're gonna go. I, I haven't eaten a single thing today. It's two thirty-five. Yeah. Nobody had Elliot. Nothing. Yeah, we didn't eat anything today. I do want to take a second. I'm gonna steal the camera here for a second because this is gonna get uploaded, I think, onto my channel too, right? Yeah. Uh, for the guys that are following this, this is the first time we've shot the budget bow at a event. Uh, we did pretty good. I was comparing it to some other guys that I know are shooters who we, we edged them out barely. So the budget bow challenge is going great. But I want to take a second to say, hop on. I'll put a link in the description box below. Hop on, follow Sage. Does some really cool stuff. Great guy. We're gonna be working more together in the future. So I'll put the link down below. Be sure to give him a follow. Give him a subscribe. Help the guy grow. He definitely deserves it. So this whole thing that you're seeing here, you can tell from my videos to his videos. This is gonna be way better than anything that I've done for editing wise. So be sure to go give him a check out. Sweet. We will catch you next week. We're gonna continue our weekly vlog. We're gonna send a video a week, every week, drop them on Wednesday, and keep them rolling throughout the end of the year, along with um, the films that we'll be putting out also. We're still working on our Nebraska film. But yeah, big things to come, so stay tuned.